Let me show you how easy it is to automatically scrape a website and post that data into social media, a web post, or just to analyze the data. Let me show you how on this video right now. This is my Browse AI dashboard, and this is where we're going to get started. So we have two options, structured data or monitor changes. So if you want to know when the price changes, a title or whatever, this is a good option. But if you want to scrape the web, this is the one to go. So it's super easy to get started. Just install the browser extension that is tied to this one so you can get started. So in this case, you can scrape, for example, Amazon, eBay, um, Walmart, whatever you want to do. In this case, I'm going to show you how to scrape Product Hunt. So I'm just gonna add the link for Product Hunt and this is going to ask me, this website needs login. So no, I don't need to log in to view the information. But if I did, I select that one. So I, I will start recording. It's gonna open up Product Hunt and it's open up the Browse AI robot. So this is a really cute robot that we have on the top right. See how it follows the mouse? And I need to click on it to get started. So I have some options. First of all, I can capture a list. So in case I want to capture all of these, I select it. If I wanna capture just one single post every single time, I use this one. Capture screenshot, select that one. In this case, I'll just capture one of these and I'm going to capture this first one. So every single time it's gonna capture the first one only. So let's just say I click on the title because that's something that I need. I'll capture visible text or do I need the link? So I need the visual text and I'll click on it again. Well, click wrong, okay? I'll click on it again and this time I need the link. So I'll need the title and the link. I'll also need the description. I'll capture the text. I'll need to know if this is a free option or free and the boats, all right? So let's just say that's what I need and I need to scrape this, all right? So I'm good to go, I'll hit enter and now it's going to ask me, let's name these variables so we can know what they are later on. So in this case, I know it's a title. Well, I'll say name in this case, name. And now it's asking me for the link, so I'll name it link. I know it's a link for this. Description, all right? And this one, which was the uh, paid or free. That's how I'll find it. And votes. All right. In this case, you can search for um, prices or anything that you like. That's good to go. So I've selected that data. I'm finished. So I'll click on finish recording. Okay. So now it's going to grab that data. Go for it. Let's save the title. I'm good with the title. I'm not going to change it now and it's going to start working. So right now it's grabbing that information and let's give it a couple of minutes. There we go, we just grabbed the data, it finished, and here we go. So for the name, it grabbed this, this link, description, paid, and the votes. So that's the information that I'm asking for and that's what it's going to grab every single time. Now, yes, it looks good or no, I need to recheck the robot because I, I forgot some information or something's not right. But in this case, yes, it looks good. There we go, here's the link. And I want to set up monitoring, okay? So I want this information periodically, all right? So add a new monitor, and I can choose every day, or minute, hour, day, week, or month. Remember, we have the credits, so depending on how you want to use this. So in this case, I know Product Hunt, every single day is a new top place, all right? So I'm gonna do it every day. Um, default monitor, notify me by email if there's any changes in the capture, and you're gonna get some emails with the different data that you're going to see. So let me show you that. For example, this is an email with the changes. You could see with the green and the red because it, it made a new search and it found the new information. So those are the type of, of emails that you're going to get. Okay, so let's save this monitor. Okay, there we go. And we're going to integrate. So when we grab that information, we want to do something with it. And in this case, we got Google Sheets if you just wanna store that information. Zapier, Webhooks, REST API, Airtable that's coming. Oh, it's already, it was coming soon. So now it's ready and it's on beta. Pavli Connect, which I'm what I'm going to use, Workflows and Make. And for this automation, I'm going to use Webhook, which makes it really easy. And in this case, I'm gonna use Pavli Connect, but through Webhook because it just makes it easier. So I need to go to Pavli Connect and start a new automation. So in this case, I'll select Webhook as the first one. I'm gonna grab this URL. Okay, let's paste it here. And when do you want this to trigger? So obviously task is finished. So every time that it checks, I'll add that one, all right? There we go, that's added. Let's go ahead and see that information over here because we want to test it so it starts the automation. Okay, so we just added it here and what we need is to call it one single time so we grab that data. So in this case, I'm gonna run it again. So I'm gonna run it manually. There we go. So it sends that data into Pavli Connect. All right, 
There we go, we just grabbed the data again, and that data should be over here on Public Connect. You can see now we have the variables that it grabbed from Browse AI. With this data, it's what we're going to use to post on Facebook group, fan page, a Twitter, LinkedIn, create a web post, whatever you want to do with it. So now that we have this data and it's gonna be coming in fresh every single day, we want to do something with it. So like I said, this time we'll send it over to a Facebook group, for example. I'll connect to my Facebook group and I want to post a message, connect. And if you haven't connect previously to Facebook using Public Connect, you'll have to do so first. There we go, this is the group. What is the message? So from the webhooks, I am going to grab the name for it. So here it is, text, that's the first name. And I am going to also add right here from the data, the description. So that description should be here, freehand design tool. And I could say this is, and it's gonna grab also the variable from the webhook. Remember we asked if this is a free option, a prepaid pre or free. So we're gonna grab that information, paid or, no, that's not it. Show it really quickly, should be around here. Here we go, wait, free options, okay? So this is free options or free or paid, depending on what, the, what data it grabs, okay? And the link for this, we are going to grab it from the specific link, so product hunt. So there we go, and let's go ahead and save and test. There we go, set the data. Let's go check it out on the Facebook group. And here it is, just now, by Paddle Connect. Here it is, the title, description, and the option is free options. Every single day from the automation that I've set, it's gonna scrape that website and it's gonna do the post for me. And if I wanna do more things to it, well, I'll add more automations to this. If I also wanna post it to a fan page, if I also want to post it on a WordPress post, I'll go to search in WordPress and make a post with it do a lot of things with the information that you're going to grab. Okay, so right now there's a limited time, lifetime deal going on, so that means that you pay once and you can use it forever. So no month to month bills. So it's $98 and you're gonna get this with that deal. So you get 2,500 credits per month, so that's checks, and you get 10 robots, so that means 10 automations. If you need more limits, jump into the double stack, triple stack, and up to eight codes. So depending on how many credits you actually need. Now, like I said, it's super easy to implement. That is how easy it is to use Browse AI to scrape any website and use that data for posting on social media or on WordPress sites or PHP sites, whatever you wanna do with the information or just store it on Airtable, Google Sheets, etc. But the link is gonna be in the description and that's a wrap.